What is up, everybody on YouTube? It's your boy, the Memphis Accelerate, coming at you with another episode of Lucky Draws, the show where I take a look at whatever deck I feel like, have myself good old fun times. Today, we're taking a look at another deck around Adamantipator Fossils. This is my own variant, uh, one I've made them myself. It's got all the bells and whistles. You know, we got our Adamantipator engine, the usual stuff, Blue Boy and all the tuners. Got our Quaki Marus for stopping summons and stopping effects. Some fossil stuff, some Doki Doki stuff, we got the fusions, the works. This is a nice going second sort of deck. A lot of stopping power, a lot of just get in your opponent's face and hit him for lots of damage. So we're going to take this deck out into good old Edo Pro. Have a good fun time. I'll show you this deck off, show you the combos and such. And I'll just have some nice time. So let's get started. All right, the our first opponent. Another day, another card game, as we like to say on the channel. Uh, even though I always forget to say that little line. So we're on those lines. I always want to use it more, but I always forget. But regardless, nice going second hand. We are a ghost second deck. Very nice. Got Doki Doki. Good old Doki Doki. We also have our Nibiru. So if my opponent tries to swarm board, this is going to say no to that. So other than that, pretty decent. You know, I've got my Fossil Fusion. Very nice card. I think I'm up against the sort of Exodia deck now. Ah, uh, Exodia. You are so loved and yet so reviled at the same time because it's like everyone who plays you just play stall stuff, which is really annoying. But uh, we'll we'll see. We'll see indeed. I mean, he's got like you know threatening roar and he's got reckless greed. Probably has metaverse hidden in there. We're just gonna go off on a limb and say metaverse is a go. We'll see. I mean, it would have been really well. Yeah, I can deal with this hand. This is a, this is a decent hand. Let's go ahead and start off with Doki Doki. So Doki Doki, he has the effect. I can ditch a rock and summon a rock with the same level and, or, yeah, the level and attribute. So we'll go ahead and summon out our Analyzer. We'll summon out Analyzer, boy. We're going to start digging some holes here, people. But first, I'm going to summon out my Researcher. If you start with one tuner, is a good. If you start with two tuners, is double good. So let's go ahead, summon out Blue Rock Candy. You want this guy in the graveyard as soon as possible, because he negates spells and traps, which is going to be very important against this guy, because he's clearly playing some spells and some traps. So let's go ahead and excavate some more with our Analyzer Boy. Uh, sure. Let's summon out another Blue Boy, just because. Just to have it on the board. Just to have it on the dang old board. Let's go ahead and start doing our synchro plays. Uh, let's see here. Let's start with Dragite. Uh, oh, hold on one second. I'm forced to use my left hand at the moment. Right hand currently unavailable, because it's still in my sling, but at the moment, there we go. We just want to take it nice and slow. There you go. Good old Dragite. Let's see here. I can make another level 8 synchro boy. Hmm... I didn't pack another level 8 Synchro Boy, but it's fine. We'll go for our other Synchro that's very nice. It's Raptite. Let you extend your combos. Basically does the same thing as other Adamantipators. Except it can summon the tuners. As opposed to everybody else. So let's summon out Harry Potter. He has to go in defense mode, but there he is. He's Harry Potter. Do not tell me that Seeker is not Harry Potter. I'm pretty sure that's Harry Potter. All right, let's excavate some more. Let's summon a weathering soldier. Nice little boy. He's not really for attacking. He's more for searching the fusion spell. But he works just fine. And I'm going to go ahead and make Crystal Wing because I bloody well can. And I'll do slightly more damage. So let's go ahead. Use Dragite's effect to bait out some of his stuff. And my opponent surrenders. I see. Well, that's an unfortunate thing, because I was about to bounce all of his spell traps with this. So, yeah, that, that's basically the crux of this deck, is go second, summon a whole bunch of stuff, hit your opponent really hard. So, there's a decent enough first duel. I, I do have replays of this, I'll save for a separate video, which I'll link to once I'm finished with this. And so, let's go ahead, for now, go into second duel, find ourselves a better opponent. Alrighty, second opponent. You know, sometimes people just do not want to play. It's a thing. But right now, we're going to be playing. We're going to be going second. That's where we like to go. Honestly, I really do like this deck. It, you know, I, I was tempted to do this deck by a gentleman named Blood Hunter. 
who, uh, you know, commented on one of my old videos about uh, Elder, en or not Elder, the Outer Entities. That was the one. And, uh, you know, I started making this deck because of that, and it does, you know, that's why Haster is in here. Um, but then, uh, Mr. Bloodhunter donated his deck, so then this one got pushed to the side. But I still wanted to play this one, so that's why we're here today. So good old Harry Potter is gonna start digging holes. Surprised nobody makes a Minecraft joke about these guys. I mean, come on. Ah, and I got all the tuners. It's a tragedy. It is a true tragedy when you do not hit a monster. That's a sad thing. Okay. This is not a problem. It's not a problem, because if my opponent goes off and does stuff, which I presume he'll do because he made us go first, Nibiru will save us, because I contribute all the monsters on the board to summon Nibiru. All I need is for him to summon five times. We're playing against Dino Wrestlers? I don't know what Dino Wrestlers do. Uh, I know they exist. Uh, let's see. This card to the graveyard sent this turn, and your phone controls more monsters than you do. Dino Wrestler, okay. Uh, Dino Wrestler attacks, get to an attack. I don't know what Dino Wrestlers do. Does it look like I know? I have no clue. Regardless, now I have a slightly better tuner monster. Honestly, Seeker Boy's the worst one. But, you know, Researcher is a nice number as well. I'm gonna go ahead and summon her out. And we'll do some more excavating. Because I need more monsters on the board. I really do. Alright. Blue Rock Candy is go. I want him in the graveyard. And plus, he'll draw me another card. It'll be beautiful. I really want to put some of his stuff in the graveyard. Because that's where Fossil Fusion comes into play. And I can, you know, fuse out of the graveyard. It's a beautiful thing when it works. I need my opponent to have a higher level monster, though, in order to use uh, Mr. Skullgeos. Which is something I managed in testing against trains, actually, which was actually amazing. I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna spoil what happened, but it was amazing, trust me. Like I said, I'll have that linked later when I get that one done. Uh, Doki Doki. Good old Doki Doki. And there you go. I think we're gonna go mostly for what we did before, honestly. Very consistent, this deck, for doing that sort of thing. Do you have Nibiru? You have to tell me if you have Nibiru. That is the law. There are laws about that, young man. All right. Well, in case Nibiru is a thing, um, let's see. You, you, and you. Let's attempt a Dragite first, just in case. Just in case we're up against some Nibiru action. It might be possible. I mean, I don't know why he'd be playing the bureau other than stopping me, but who wants to stop me? I'm trying to do things, man. That's the thing. I've always, you know, there are times in my career, and just in general, I'm like, can you please stop doing stuff? You know, it's the thing. I like to do combo decks every once in a while, but at the same time, I don't like to get comboed on top of, you know? Um, okay, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the field spell, even though it doesn't do all that much. It stops me from attacking with multiple monsters. That's more than enough. That is more than enough that I do not like. So now we'll summon out Raptite. Raptite will start excavating more stuff. Do we get another monster that we haven't seen? No, we can only get these two. Um, I'm going to... This is a difficult one. I'm going to go for the Blue Rock. Don't ask why. I'm just going for Blue Rock. There's no particular reason. Just kind of doing it. And let's go ahead into the battle phase. I'm just going to click some buttons. Um, Let's see here. Dragites, you kill this thing because it'll do more damage. What does this do? Your pose controls monsters. You can target a dino wrestler in the graveyard. Summon it. Okay. What does this do? When dino wrestler inflicts damage, summon this card. Okay. That doesn't actually do anything really. It just kind of exists. Okay. So, now he's going to be able to get stuff. But such is the way of... Actually, I just realized I made a stupid move. I should have gone for Crystal Wing again, but... I don't know. It just kind of slipped my mind there for a second. Like, wait. Should I go for Blue Candy or Tuner? I was thinking I would keep Tuner in deck so that when I draw into her next time, I can go for more combos. That was my idea. That was the intent, but it seems to have backfired slightly. 
Not like meaningfully, I don't think. Let's see, what does this do? Um, let's see, Pokemon Turbo Money, target a monster Pokemon Control, send it to the graveyard. No. What? Why can I not target this thing? Um, excuse me? Why can't I target this thing? Um, uh, I'm confused. Why could I not target that guy? Is it you? Uh, oh, I am a dumb dumb. I did not, I didn't think this did anything. Okay, that's my mistake. Okay. Not a problem. I mean, what, what did, what did Dino Wrestler Lynx even do? Uh, other than, I think this guy will get a thousand attack points, but that's not enough to get over Raptite anyway. Um, it's still not big enough to get over Raptite. Alright. Target a Dino Wrestler, add it to your hand. This is sent to the graveyard as Link material. Target Dino Wrestler in the graveyard, summon it in defense mode. I see. I see indeed. Okay. Interesting indeed. I swear, if you steal my drag, well, the drag out wouldn't do him much good. The drag out would not do him much good, especially when it puts his card in the wrong column. Oh, I love it when people do that. It is, it is stupid and hilarious at the same time. You know, watch your columns with impermanence, ladies and gentlemen. Watch your columns. All right. I hesitate to call that a win, but technically he gave up, so it does count as a win. So let's go for a third opponent. And, uh, you know, find something bigger than Dino Wrestlers. Alrighty, our third opponent. I've temporarily switched to my right hand, even though I'm not supposed to overwork it too much. I just, okay, no, no, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work, it still hurts just a wee bit. Just a wee bit. Alright, what are we up against? Utopia exceeds stuff. Okay. Time Thieves. Not necessarily something I enjoy. What is this? Let's see. When Utopia Monsters exceed summon, pay 500, draw a card. Okay, so this is either Time Thieves with Utopia Double, which is there, very, very much a thing that exists. I mean, you usually play Double in Time Thieves just to have something to beat over stuff. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we've summoned four monsters. Probably going to summon a fifth monster, even. So, as soon as he does all that, I'm going to be like, Nabiru. That's just how it go. I mean, I doubt he's just going to leave double on the board. That would be stupid. What are you going for, Mr. Lightning Boy? He certainly summoned the Lightning Boy. We won't, uh, we won't Nabiru just yet. I can wait till the end of the main phase to do that. At least I should be allowed to do that. That is a thing I should be allowed to do. Thank you very much. So, we'll see. I'm trying, I'm thinking that he'll summon another Xyz monster on top of this. Or something. Actually, I'm not entirely sure what this guy's up to. What are the chances of drawing two double or nothing? Um, let's see. Ouch. Ah, wait, hold on. What are the odds, um, in a 40 card deck? Probably not that bad, actually. I mean, you are drawing with Xyz tactics and all that stuff, so... There you go. I have nibiru your board. You now have this big old token. It's as big as all the monsters tributed in order to summon Nibiru. So now he has Nibiru token, I have Nibiru, which is bigger than this guy. You do need to watch sometimes with Nibiru, because sometimes you can accidentally summon a Nibiru that is too big for you to get over. But that's what Nightmare Cerberus is in here for. So let's go ahead, start doing stuff. Let's send Weathering Soldier Boy to the graveyard. And we'll summon Analyzer so we can keep on doing what we like to do. And sadly, Weathering Soldier, he does not activate when you discard with Doki Doki. It's a sad thing. I wish that was the case, but it's, it's just not the case. Oh, and hey, I got Blue Boy. Beautiful. I got my Blue Boy. Whenever you see Blue Boy... It's a good thing. This is why we play more than one blue boy. It's because you want to maximize your chances of blue boy. Now, some people might say, you only need one blue boy. I say, shut up, because you want more than one blue boy. I usually play him as two. I don't want to play him as three of. That's a bit much. Two of, I think, is perfect. It's perfect right there. So, I'll go ahead and excavate one more time, because I can. Uh, summon out Overload to negate summons and stuff. 
And we'll keep on going. Uh, let me think about this. Let's just go for Raptide, I suppose. Even though I kind of want to leave that boy on the board, I'm just going to go keep doing these things. I'm going to keep excavating and doing my things. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Summoning out Weathering Boy, Numero Dose, in defense mode, even though it doesn't do me much good there. Yeah, I know. Such is the way of things. Uh, okay. Let's go ahead and bounce some stuff, because I'd like to do as much damage as possible. Alright, that'll bounce everything he had. That ain't nice. And is that game? I don't sure if that's game or not. It could be game. It might be game. We'll find out. Honestly, I'm not sure what's going on with my opponents. Maybe I need to stop playing them casual. You know, I, I've bounced back between casual and competitive. There's, you know, because, but here's the thing. You know, some people who are casual play in the competitive circuit, playing like anti-meta decks and stuff. Some people who are competitive play in the casual. So, there's our third duel of the day. We're just curb stomping people, sadly. But, you know, we'll just go for fourth opponent, see what happens. Might do fifth duel. We'll see how it goes. But for now, fourth duel incoming. Alrighty, fourth duel against Little Mac himself. He got tired of being in Smash Brothers, so he came to play Yu-Gi-Oh! today. And we're going first. Like I said, not necessarily a good thing. But I can make this work. I can make it work just fine. As long as I got Doki Doki, I have access to my tuners. Alrighty, let's go ahead and analyze. We'll make him think we don't have our researcher. Uh, oh yeah, Blue Rock Boy. Beautiful. Say, Blue Rock Boy, you're just so good, Blue Rock Boy. Never change Blue Rock Boy, ever. Because Blue Rock Boy is a treasure. He's a treasure, never think otherwise. Alright. Go ahead and summon Dragite. Uh, playing with my left hand is really difficult. I challenge everybody here, next time you play Yu-Gi-Oh! Online, play with your offhand and see what happens. Okay? It's not as easy as it sounds. It's not quite as easy as it sounds. Okay? That's just how it is. Alright, let's go ahead and summon out another monster. That is what we are allowed to do. -do. I haven't even seen Block Dragon today. It's crazy. I mean, I only play him as a one-of, but at the same time, I figured he'd show up more than, like, never. One of those things, you know? You don't want to play too many block dragons, because then he's cloggy and such. At the same time, you want to see him, so it's kind of weird. But then again, that's what Miracle Rupture is kind of for. Just dumping things. So... Okay, I get Nibiru. There you go. I have Nibiru in defense mode. He's perfectly suited for defensive tactics. Trust me. Alright. Uh, do we have anything in the graveyard? No. Do I have an interruption? Yes, I do. And we'll just end the turn there for now. It's not the greatest start, but it's something. It's a nice wee bit of something. Wee bit of something. Actually, now that I think about it, probably could have gone for, um, what you call it. Did I remember the, uh, thing in here? Hold on. I gotta switch hands. Survive right hand. Survive. Alright, yeah, I, I probably should have gone for, um, should have gone for Masquerina just to have Unicorn as a thing. As it stands, we're up against Virtuous Lu Juan. Um, let's see, if I'm more monsters than I do, I'm gonna go ahead and shut this down, because I don't want him to start swarming and such. I'm just gonna negate Lu Juan, because I don't want him to have that as an availability. So now he gets, uh, the green guy. If only your opponent controlled the monster, you can summon this guy. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. That's not happening, young man. I will say, I have been thinking of replaying Ancient Warriors. Since, um, what you call them? Zodiacs are back, more or less. I, just, I kinda wanna play them again. I wanna play Senkazu. So we'll see how that goes. A lot of decks I want to play that I haven't played in a while. Uh-oh, he's got his boss monster. That's not necessarily a good thing. Because that thing's a big beefy boy. Let's see. The card is destroy. Send a card. When this card destroys a monster, summon that monster to your field in defense mode. Okay. That's slightly annoying. Just slightly. I mean, I've still got Dragite. Dragite is going to annihilate this guy. Let's see. 
I don't know why he didn't use arrows to halve Dragite's attack points. Kind of odd, honestly. But uh, such is his loss. Such is his loss, ladies and gentlemen. What? Oh, he has a wind monster in his grave. He get banished by stuff. Curse you! That means my sign ain't gonna do me no... Well, it's a good thing I played drag out before sign, I suppose. That's a good thing. So let's go ahead, bounce, bounce, and bounce. We'll just bounce the stuff so he doesn't get the stuff. Uh, three, four, five. There we go. And this ought to be game. He gave me a... He gave me a quick spook. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna sit here and lie to y'all. He gave me a quick spook. Just a quickie. Nothing spectacular. Um. Uh. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I gotta go for Granite Boy. Gotta go for the loyal Grant man. He's a stone samurai, stone cold. But yeah, there's beaten Senkas. That's the thing. You interrupt Senkas at all, they're kind of fragile a bunch. Especially if you interrupt Green and or Blue Boy. Very important to negate those. But regardless. That's the deck for now. Let's go for end screen time. I think we've more or less seen... You've gotten a taste of what is to come in future. So let's go for end screen. All right. Fossil excavation deck went 4-0. Didn't face anybody really powerful, but I faced a lot of stronger decks in my replays. So, you know, like I said, I'll leave that link in description so you guys can check that out when I get that video done, which should be by tomorrow at the very latest. So... Hope you guys enjoyed, nonetheless. Uh, leave a like if you like Adamantipatus. I think that they're slightly more enjoyable than fighting against Elvelich, in my humble opinion. So, regardless, I'll see you guys again next time. Um, I don't know which one I want to play. I, I want to play either Senkazu or Volcanics. I don't know which one I want to play more. We'll find out. But regardless, until next time, you boys, signing out. Uh, peace, everybody. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Take care of yourselves.